today I'm updating the Android version on my Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. I got the notification here. So the update is available. And this is how you do the update. If you don't want to do, if you somehow dismiss that notification, you can go to settings and then system current version on Xperia 1 Mark V XQDQ54, the EU version. 67.1.8.2.270 this is the current android version phone model is xqdq54 and the android version is 14. this is a small update but i will check anyway the camera video pro version that's the video pro version 141a0223 photo pro version 171A022 and what is it? Cinema Pro version 191A021 that's the whole setup and now you can go to settings in the settings you go to system and then software update and here you will see this window where it's telling you that there is an update available so the the update is 67.1.8.2.278 and it's only 116.3 megabytes so it's probably just a security update to download the update you press download and it will install it when it's uh, ready Now it's installing. This is an update for Android 14 on Sony Xperia 1 Mark V. At some point soon there should be an Android 15 version, so I'm looking forward to installing the Android 15 on Sony Xperia 1 5. When I bought this phone it was Android 13 and then it got the update Android 14. And from what I understand there should be three major versions so it should be 15 and 16, hopefully. I don't know if 14 was included, but it was 13 when it started. When I bought it, it was Android 13 when it launched. So I'm gonna let it finish, finish the installing, and then we'll do a reboot and hopefully the phone, the phone still starts, hopefully. Okay, it's going through step two and you should really plug in your phone even if you have a full battery it's good to plug in the phone just to make sure it the update is faster i believe when the phone is plugged in the processor it's working at full speed so maybe when it's on battery it's trying to optimize for preserving the battery i don't know you get this warning here all existing data is unaffected by the update and you cannot go back to the previous version so anyway I don't see a reason why you would want to go back to the previous version unless it was really had a lot of issues. So now it's installing step two out of three. And once this is finished, now it's time to restart the phone and keep it plugged in. Make sure the Sony logo will show and the Xperia logo and hopefully you get uh, the lock screen and not some boot loop or any other it vibrated now so vibration once and there we should have the sony xperia logo i want to show it really close it's taking its time but it's usually like this it takes a bit of time should be any moment any moment There is nothing else displayed on the screen. No progress indicator. It's taking a bit of too long to know. Come on. Okay. 
we got it. I like this animation, it's pretty interesting. And once you see this, it's pretty good chance, it's a pretty good chance that the phone is okay. So time to now it's time to unlock the phone and use the passcode. And it's starting. It's it's a bit slow when it starts first time and it's still still finishing updates. So until you get the notification that the update is complete. It's better not to use the phone. Should be any minute, should be getting there. Maybe it was there and I dismissed it by mistake. Oh, it finished. So you get the notification that the update, you get a notification like this that the update is finished. And you can see the system update now. You can see the update history. These are the updates I did. So we saw the, let's see the Video Pro app version 1418023, Photo Pro version 171A022, and the Cinema Pro app version. 191A21, 191A021. And if we go to settings about phone, here you see model, it's a, that's modern change, model XQ. Android version 14, still the same, model XQDQ54. The build number now is 67.1.8.2.278. Phone is ready to use. Thanks for watching.